giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Um, let's do it, Justin. You ready? I'm ready to go. All right, man. Let's do it. Uh, that's me. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Start off your off with our um, 25th ranked team. That's going to be team number 359. From Waialua, Hawaii. Waialua High School. It's the Hall of Fame Hawaiian Kids. 60 match wins, only eight losses, and winners of the Canadian Pacific, Hawaiian, and Canadian Rockies regionals. So it's been another phenomenal season from the team from the Island State as they racked up three blue banners out of four events with their most recent coming this past weekend in Calgary. They had some issues getting the robot shipped uh, to the event. Glenley's Facebook, they had uh, shipping problems. They showed up to the event late. They had been in take. It was really a, um, an all-hands-on-deck moment to get ready for their first match, which was called Clause 3. But they were there, they won, and they didn't look back. 16-0, and perfect event, uh, capturing the number one seed, and along with 21-22 Team Taters, and 68-41, they were able to win the event. So it's hard to imagine this team still ranked so low. Uh, three yeah. three regional wins, barely sneaking, I know, barely sneaking onto the list here. Um, but certainly we'll be looking to see where 359 is when divisions uh, for Houston are It's been an incredible season for them, and good luck. Uh, in Houston to 359, the Hawaiian kids. Yeah, for sure. So I have a quick story to talk about 359, but real quick, sure. Thomas, 1746 coming in uh, with 1,500 bits now, one upping, hey, it's Leo, <laughs> uh, says, have you all been watching any of the PCH events so far? Uh, I watched a little bit of PCH Champs, but I was out at Seven Rivers, uh, so I, I tried to catch a little bit about that. Guys, I don't know if you were able to catch any. I was not, unfortunately. Yeah. No, but there's some there's some representation tonight. <clears throat> Absolutely, and, and make sure you check out Region Recap because our Southeast region yes. is definitely uh, great at covering that. And we have uh, uh, from 11:02 on there, uh, John Fogarty, uh, who is uh, part of PCH. Um, so, real quick on 3:59, um, a story. So, uh, if I remember correctly, their robot didn't show up until like right. 15 minutes before opening ceremonies. Yes, in a crate that had water damage. Oh, that's right. Like internal water damage. So yeah. Like, think about that. Like, holy crap. Could you imagine that? Like, I mean, at least they've already played a couple of events, but like you still have to do stuff to get your robot it, operational. Yeah. I think. And they, and they were in call match one, by the way. <laughs> I didn't. I think. Did Glenn say they didn't get out until match three? Is that what you said? I think that's what I saw in his thing. Oh, I don't like, know. It I took did, him I a while to get out or something, but still going. Yeah. 16 and 0. Unreal. Yeah. Crazy. Nice. All right, so going from the Hawaiian kids in 25th uh, spot to the 24th spot in Team 33-39. From Kafar Yana Hamerkaz, Israel, it's Bumblebee. They have an overall record of 36 and 21, and they were the winners of the Israel 2, and they were the District Chairman's Award winners at Israel 4. So starting off strong, they finished 1 and 2 after qual matches at their, at their two district events, and they were winners and finalists respectively at those. Bumblebee took... Um, the Israel District Championship and finished a surprisingly 38th after their strong outing at their first two events uh, where they played 11 qualification matches past weekend. They would be selected to the number six alliance by 2096. However, their experience showed taking out number three and number two on the way to play number four in the finals. Crazy that in Israel it was the six versus four alliances in the finals. Um, so taking the first match, they would be DQ'd in the second and then end up falling nine points short in finals match three. So um, Bumblebee will be competing in Detroit. So good luck and congratulations to them on a, on a great season. Uh, just interjecting once again, and apparently we have a little bit of a bits war going on here. Hey, it's Leo coming in with 3,000 bits. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At Thomas 1746, it's the Battle of the Biddies. Uh, by the way, uh, you definitely, we appreciate, hey, it's Leo giving that many bits. You definitely don't have to give that many to get involved. But uh, what I would recommend is if you got a favorite team, uh, tip that bit amount. It doesn't mean you have to, like, you know, tip 6,009 biddies, but you can do six. Well, that's a bad example. <laughs> Let's say it's 6119. Then you can tip 6119, for example. It's a great way to get involved uh, for a very low amount. Uh, and thanks again to Hey, It's Leo and Thomas1746. You guys can you can keep battling all night. We'll keep say they're, they're on fighting it, over so. us, you guys. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> thanks a lot, everybody, though. Yeah, for sure. All right. So that was. Um... Bumblebee, 33-39 in the 24th spot, and our 23rd spot's going to be 29-74. From Marietta, Georgia, Walton High School, it's Walton Robotics, 46-9 overall, and we're the winners of the Dalton and Columbus District events, as well as the Peachtree District Championship. So I love the recognition for the Peachtree District and underrepresented region, uh, but this past weekend, 
uh, at the Petri District Championship, it was Walton who was in the elimination rounds as part of the number one alliance who were able to nearly put up a rocket in the elimination <laughs> rounds to help the number one alliance take the win. In their current, I did some research on Walton Robotics. I was like, I'm not sure if they're uh, a first time FRC top 25 or not. Um, didn't necessarily ring a bell. So I looked at their 2018 season. They had four banners last year. Nice. So I said, look at their 2017 season. They had five banners the year before that. <laughs> So wow. uh, another impressive haul, three to go along with this year, and they're not quite done yet. So um, impressive for That's sure really impressive. this year, yeah. and uh, good luck in Houston at 2974, Walton Robotics. That's awesome. Man. I mean, it's like, team. I don't think we've talked about it all or, at, you know, at, by much. But yeah. um, if they keep this up, <laughs> I mean, I think hopefully we'll be hearing about them more. And I think it's great, too, hopefully, with uh, the, the different region recaps that we're doing now, too, that they'll be able to get a little bit more exposure. But crazy. Four, five, and how many this and how many this year? Three. Uh, three, three, three so, so far. far. Wow. Not done wow. yet. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, you know, the, the, the tribute to that a little bit, I mean, you, you nail ahead. Peace Tree is definitely an underrepresented region in, in the yeah. what we have for things. So to get them on sure. the top 25, I think it's awesome to see uh, the Southeast region step up uh, and people uh, recognizing uh, such an awesome team for an incredible year so far. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, moving right along. Uh, in the 22nd spot, we have Team 230. From Shelton, Connecticut, and Shelton High School is Yale Hawks. An overall record of 43 and 11. They were the winners of the Waterbury and the Hartford District events. So Gale Hawks would enter their third district event in Hartford this past weekend after placing fourth after qualification matches at Waterbury and winning the event. And then at Western New England, they would exit in the semifinals. This past weekend, the end qualification matches ranked first, going 11 and 1 with a 3.0 ranking score average. They picked um, New England Powerhouse 195 and would finish it in sixth matches with an exciting unpenalized 111 score in finals match number two congrats to the team 230 and good luck this weekend as they head into the new england district championship currently ranked uh 11th in new england um i feel like they've kind of flown a little bit under the radar this season um they have two district wins here um but yeah i mean gail hawks is a team that we usually talk about in the top 25 year after year and I'm, i can't remember if they've been on before this uh this week but um you know, doing really well in New England, ranked 11th, like I said, and uh, hopefully, hopefully have a great weekend coming up. Awesome. All right, so 230, Gale Hawks in the 22nd spot, and Justin's going to tell us about Team 747. From Middlesex, New Jersey, it's Flight Crew, 39-11 overall, and with the winners, the Montgomery District event, as well as the Mid-Atlantic District Championship. 747 season began with their quarterfinal exit at their first event, but they were the number one seed and winners at their second event and rolled into Marchamps looking to keep up that success. In quals, they went 8-4 and four and were selected to the number two seed by their Montgomery uh, event partners, 225, and they would defeat the number seven, number three, and number five alliances <laughs> to capture the Mar District Championship. So congrats to 747, the flight crew. I just love that. Uh, yeah. That tie in it's tough i think it's tough to do it well to tie in your team number to your team name but they did a good they did a good job there yeah well because i don't think we've talked about 747 before um yeah. so like i hadn't i didn't look at your write-up yet so it's like 747 i was like man i hope they do like a plane reference and then they did you know it's kind of like <laughs> you, about what team you were not disappointed <laughs> i was not and that was kind of a note that i had excuse me that um i didn't really say at the top of the show is there was a lot of there's a lot of teams this week that we have not talked about both um, in a long time, like Gale Hawks or, or yeah. some other teams maybe coming up, or teams we haven't talked about at all, like like you just did, um, Flight Crew, and then um, um, 2974 Walton Robotics. You know, I think yeah. that's a team that we should be talking about a lot more. So it's really great, and that's something we've always said about the top 25 is that it, um, and we're seeing it a lot more recently because now that there's you know way more people voting is this is what we love about it is that we get to talk about teams that we really haven't heard of before and it gives teams kind of a spotlight that you know not everybody people know about so and i think we're seeing yeah, that here with yeah okay. a huge shout out to, to tyler who's done a great job of helping us get the word out i think a lot of the diversity yeah. comes from the nearly 600 voters we had this week <laughs> Well, and I, and I think a lot of it comes from just the region recap in general, too, of uh, yeah. a lot of the hosts encouraging there. You know, I'll tell you, uh, 747, I think there's going to be a lot of people happy to see them in the top 25 because they play a lot of defense, mm -hmm. right? So you have a, a bot that scores low, consistently climbs, and typically plays defense in most matches. Like, they, they've ranked because of that. Uh, if you watch region recap yesterday, we had uh, uh, Ben Martin on uh, from the uh, winning Team 225 Tech Fire uh, talking about uh, that they predetermined that they were going to decline 303, uh, the test team, uh, and then 
they purposely picked uh, 747 over some of the other teams just because they, they knew that just the power that 747 would truly bring in, and it showed, right? I mean, 747 just looking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, their defensive strategy I love. Uh, it's very akin to some other winning strategies I've seen where – you know, you have that really super powerful defensive bot and a super powerful offensive robot, and maybe just a third bot that can help out a little bit with the cargo ship, and you're seeing success come out of it. And so flight crew, I really cool to see them in the top 25. Uh, definitely, I think, very well earned, and it's interesting to see. I think it's been a long time, guys, since we've seen a robot that their primary strategy is defense being the top 25. Is It's kind of like the MVP <laughs> award in, like, football, right? Like, usually it's yeah. going to <laughs> an offensive team or an offensive player in that circumstance. It's pretty cool to see it go to a defensive team. Yeah, I mean, we're getting some comments here in the chat. You know, I love flight crew. Their climb is beautiful. They earn that. You know, so it's really, um, yeah, impeccable climb here. Um, so, yeah, definitely it's a team that has been uh, turned some heads there in, in uh, First May Atlantic. So, mm-hmm. congrats to them. So, Tyler, before we move on, did we forget to start our giveaway? I think I jumped the gun maybe earlier. Do you want to do oh, that? Oh, yeah, actually, you're right. I'm sorry. So, we so. can stay on track because yeah, we have three giveaways This is tonight. a good timing since we'll have five teams in between. So, we're going to start our first giveaway uh, for the Bad Hawks once again uh, from Team 1720. And the keyword for that is going to be uh, Banner. Uh, giving a shout-out to 1720 who's competing at the Indiana uh, district championships this weekend. Uh, so once again, banner is your keyword. Make sure you uh, click that follow button if you want to be uh, entered to win. And don't forget, our subscribers get five times luck. So if you help us support the stream with the subscription, we dearly appreciate that. You get five times chance to win. We're going to draw uh, after uh, right before number fifteen. So you get a little bit of time, everybody. Yes, we do. Nice. We'll get that in. All right. <laughs> I love when Nick when Nick chimes in. He's like, "Okay, yeah. guys, what are you doing?" Yeah, and Cal- Caltran, it is the word banner, not the uh, oh. emoji banner. But He's I mean, I, I'll go for it. Why not? But that, <laughs> that won't get you in, unfortunately. <laughs> it won't get you in. I love that. All right. So, uh, all right. So we started the giveaway, which is awesome. In the twentieth spot, we have Team Seventeen Ninety Six from Queens, New York, and Queens Technical High School. It's the Robo Tigers. They have an overall record of forty and eight, and they were the three times winners, three regional wins at Hudson Valley, SPPLI two, and the New York City Regional. So maybe a little underrated, in my opinion, is kind of what we're also seeing with uh, three fifty nine there at the twenty fifth spot, but. Um, you can argue maybe that Robo Tigers took wins at three quote lower tier regionals, but I don't really buy that. Um, we've seen, especially in this game, how many times high seeds have been knocked out in the playoffs this year. So, I mean, it is hard to win this game at times. So, um, we mentioned it last week, they kind of waited to play, but, um, they've played three weeks straight now. Um, and this past weekend took home, um, the cling bling taking home the, um, EI as well. So gold, silver, gold, silver emotes for them in the chat, please. And, um, Justin, I know you shared a little bit about Robo Tigers last week. Do you mind sharing maybe a little bit again about them? Yeah, sure. I mean, you mentioned at the top that three times winners this year. This is their that's their sixth regional win in a row. They also won three events last year as well. So they're just uh, they're absolutely on fire. They're a great team. You know, they have eight losses. We're happy just to have taken one, you know, given one of them uh, their losses. But they're they're incredible. Their robots are always beautiful and green and effective. And I'm really excited to see um, what they're able to accomplish um, in Detroit. And hopefully we have a, an opportunity to play with them. But yeah, we're really, um, really fond of the Robot Tigers. We won the Long Island number two with with them last year. Um, just nothing but great things to say, and just super uh, happy for their success this year. Nice. I just want to give a shout out to the Robot Tigers for really utilizing the New York uh, district system quite well and getting <laughs> yeah. three, getting three events in. It's pretty awesome at uh, 48. Yeah. No. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it only cost them thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But seriously. Right, excuse <laughs> but me, seriously. sir. It's only thirteen thousand. <laughs> 13. Yeah. I was trying to look at where is Hudson? It's in um, Suffren. Suffren's around New York City, right? So they kind of really is like the New York district. <laughs> so, because um, yeah, they were in Long Island and then New York City and Suffren, which is cool. All right. So moving on, that will be um, in our 19th spot. That's going to be team number 303. From Bridgewater, New Jersey, Bridgewater Burton High School. It's the test team, 58 and 27. That's a lot of matches. And we're the semifinalists at the Mar District Championship. So it's been a bit of a trying season for the test team, who is still looking for their first banner of this season. The closest they got was two finalists. Before- 
performances, yet they played great at the hotly contested March Amps. They were the number one seed after quals. Uh, but falling in the semifinals didn't take away uh, from this awesome machine who might yet be able to earn that blue banner in Detroit. Uh, and good luck to Team 303, the test team. So it's kind of interesting to go from, we talked about two teams, you know, 25th and 20th there who have won three regionals um, and then 303 and 19th. Uh, yet to win one, but I think that just is a testament to, to people voting and recognizing that, like you, like Mike mentioned before, like not, it's not always the the best team that wins. You know, sometimes teams get upset, and three or three has a great bot. Nice. But by the way, I just want to add in uh, Howard is uh, trying very hard to get us to say uh, FMA instead of Mar for first mid Atlantic. So Howard, <laughs> I'll give you the shout out. However, I'd love to hear from people in chat who might be from that area on what you actually call it because. Uh, I, I don't know the FMA thing. Like, why why change it? Like, it's just like, oh, we have to do things. Are like, and do well, they have to follow the first minute okay. Atlantic for naming? Or what? I'm just gonna be honest. Did they actually officially change it? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I think it's not from well, the area. It's in Blue Alliance, I think it first. Is it really? Yeah. Well, I have, yeah, but, FMA. I, I apologize for that. I guess they should call it the real thing. I'm just used um, to it. But yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's hard because we've been calling it Mar forever. So. Yeah, I'm just giving Howard a hard time. <laughs> Thanks for the giveaway, though, Howard. Appreciate that. No, I figured I had to go, I I had to go through all my scripts. How many other March teams do I have here? <laughs> oh, I'd love it. So you whatever. just said it. How many March? Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Cool. All right. Moving along. For Nick Yowza. <laughs> In the 18th spot, we have Team 910. From Madison Heights, Michigan, and Bishop Foley Catholic High School, it's the Foley Freeze. They have an overall record of 35-18, and 18, and they were the winners this past weekend at the Forest Hills District event. So uh, welcome to the 2019 Top 25. Like I mentioned earlier, um, we're seeing Foley Freeze here. Um, they're taking their first win this past weekend. They've been having a great season so far. At center line, they were ranked 13th and selected the number three alliance, but would exit in the quarters, um, but would take on the EI there. At Troy, they ranked fifth and would be taken first overall. It would take home finalist medals. Um, they saved the best for last. They were ranked one, uh, number one overall this past weekend with five unicorn matches. Uh, one match they lost, but still got the two extra ranking points. Um, and an overall 3.25 ranking score average. Uh, their trajectory for the season has just kind of been on a steady incline since the beginning. So um, they'll be competing at Michigan State Championship coming up here. So uh, if their season's kind of telling, that they'll continue that success and uh, have a, a really good outing. So um, congratulations to the Foley Freeze. Yeah, Foley Freeze has been improving uh, after each event. They had an yeah. uh, early quarterfinal exit in their first one, lost in the yeah. finals in the second event, and coming in and taking it. I know, uh, you know, we do, we just did the uh, MSC preview just before this show, right? And, and definitely uh, nine ten in the conversation uh, there as well too. Uh, maybe I'm not, I don't remember if they were in the host top ten, but I definitely know they were drafted pretty early. So uh, Mike and Justin, I don't know if you saw us, but our, our host actually did like a mock draft because the oh. MSC because the divisions aren't out yet for MSC. So instead <laughs> of doing that, it was pretty cool. They actually uh, just started listing off teams, but they actually did a mock draft of picking which teams they wanted. So it was, it was pretty cool to see. Yeah, that is cool. cool. Nice, cool. All right, so that was uh, Team 910 in the 18th spot, and our 17th spot is going to be a Team 2468. From Austin, Texas, Westlake High School is Team Appreciate, 44 and 10 overall, and with the winners, the Austin and Greenville District events. So three blue banners belong to Team Appreciate as they finish their inaugural play in the fit district championship this weekend <laughs> they ranked third behind two global powerhouses in 118 and 148 but 2468 held their own all weekend long and the alliance selections they were picked to join the number two alliance by 118 and along with 4063 advanced to the semifinals the matches all weekend long were intense and 2468 played phenomenal congrats to them and good luck in houston to team 2468 team appreciate and i hate to end on a negative note but it is a little uh it was a little shocking to me to see uh, that they did not win the chairman's award at the, oh my, the first yeah. championship district because I really they're they're on my short list to, short list to join the Hall of Fame in Houston. Um, so for them not to win um, in the first in Texas district they, championship was a shock to me. They were my list to win. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. They were the list. Yeah. So yeah, I, mean, uh, um, I mean, they still got. I mean, they 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 did get engineering inspiration, which is very well earned as well too. Uh, but you know, I and I didn't talk to anybody the norm or anything like that for from two four six eight, but. Uh, you know, I think there's got to be a little bit of disappointment with that uh, from a team that's done so much to help the first community. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think out of the teams that won in first in Texas, I think I've only heard of one, which doesn't mean that it, that doesn't mean those teams are deserving by any means or anything like that. It's just more of a right. shock of like, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. And, uh, all right, sure. Yeah. Chairman's yeah. awards winners were 54, 27, the steel talons, uh, 54, 31 Titan robotics and 28, 81 lady cans, which honestly I haven't heard of. I've heard of lady off- cans. I haven't yeah. heard. Yeah. The, the, I haven't lady heard cans, of the lady cans have been a pretty successful chairman's team for a while, but the other two, and, and again, to echo what Tower said, not to take away from them, but I just know what 246A has done for um, not only first in Texas, but first globally uh, yeah. for a long time. And it, it was just, it was really surprising, but mm-hmm. it is what it is, I suppose. <clears throat> All right, so moving on from 17 to 16, we have team 133. From Standish, Maine and Bonnie Eagle High School, it's Bert. I think I just realized that it stands for Bonnie Eagle Robotics Team. Um, oh, I had no <laughs> clue. Yeah, would have never put that together. <laughs> um, I think because it, it has like the periods after everything, but we just, anyways. Uh, uh, they have an overall record of 45, 13, and 1, and they were the winners of the Southern New Hampshire and the Pine Tree District events. So we talked about Burt a couple weeks ago, um, and they make it another appearance here again at number 16. So they finished um, second at Pine Tree, and they were taking number one overall, and they would take the win in seven matches. Uh, Burt is a quick cycler who gets a, um, who takes, um, who gets a lot of attention from defense, excuse me. So um, it just shows you how good that, you know, good they are when, you know, defense really just sticks on them the whole time. So um, they'll be heading into the New England District Championships this weekend, ranked seventh overall in New England. Um, they have, in their three events, they've had three final finals appearances. They take they took home two golds um, and one silver. So um, nice work to Burt on an incredible season so far, and, and good luck as they compete this weekend. Bert's been one of those teams where, like, a couple of years ago was kind of the first time I, I actually really heard of them, and then they just kind of keep resurfacing uh, more and more. Uh, and uh, to me, just starting to get more and more momentum and more and more steam. Uh, you know, last year they had, uh, if I remember correctly, two, I think, two blue banners and plus a chairman, so three blue banners uh, as well, too. So, uh, you know, just continuing great success uh, year after year. Uh from them and and yeah, Bert just looking great and can't wait to see how how yeah. they perform at the New England District Championship. Yeah, I mean, it just yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was not on the right page <laughs> on the blue lines. All right, so it's time for a giveaway. Yeah, so we're gonna do our giveaway from our friends at Team Seventeen Twenty for the awesome set of Bat Hawks. Uh, once again, if you have not uh, picked any of these up for your team, I mean, you can hope to win it here on Fun. There's always a chance to get about a one and. Uh, 120 chance to win uh, on this, or you can just go and pick up a set for yourself. They're actually very, very price efficient, 39 bucks for a pack of four of them. And man, these things are lifesavers. Uh, so absolutely go and pick them up. I've seen so many teams utilizing these. If you don't have them, you got to do so. So uh, the winner for that is going to be uh, Spaceman Nick. Congratulations, Spaceman Nick. Probably one of the more normal names we've had today in our giveaway drawing. So uh, so congratulations to you. Thanks again to our friend 1720. Uh, and good luck to 1720 at the Indiana District Championship this weekend. Uh, Sean and Ryan will be watching out for you guys. Looking forward to a great uh, event from you. Uh, so very cool stuff, by the way, Spaceman Nick. Make sure, or anybody, if you win, make sure you please. And people keep asking me this, and we keep saying it over and over. And sorry, it's just getting a little interesting. Uh, we need your first name. Last, we're going to mail you something, right? So if you get something in the mail, first name, last name, mailing address, zip code, city, state, all that stuff like that, we need that to send out to you. So please make sure you uh, shoot, shoot a message out to us with that as well. Uh, so congratulations to that. Uh, our next giveaway is going to be the FTA beer pin that we'll do starting at the top 10. Nice. I just right. want to circle back to Fit yeah. real quick. Yeah. They, someone mentioned in the chat that also blew my mind. There were no judged awards given to 148, 118, or 3310. That just seems absurd. And like, Spectrum, I, I think, too. Really? I just, I don't know. It's bizarre. It, it really is. It's really bizarre. I'm not going to put Nick on the spot. I don't even know if he can really uh, talk to everybody anyways. But um... <laughs> yeah, Nick's so, like, mic is not fully working right now. That's what he yeah. said. So. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, you know, I know obviously coming into the event that judges knew that or they had a pretty good idea that these teams would end up being successful. But I just I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me that. No. And I don't want to take anything away from the teams that did um, that did win awards. Yeah. But it's just hard to imagine that, you know, the quality award and engineering excellence award and some of these other design awards didn't go to these teams that are just 
absurdly engineered uh, yeah. to a to a to a inspirationally high level. So I don't know. It's just it's interesting. Yeah, that's. I mean, like you said, that. Thanks for bringing that up in the chat. That's something we didn't know. I mean, we we had talked about that internally about chairman's awards, but we didn't know that. And yeah, that is. It's just bizarre. It's really weird. But I'm just right. waiting for 148 to win the Team Spirit Award personally. So <laughs> we'll come soon. <laughs> We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.